What is good guys today's video is going to be pretty different and uh, it all started because if you have a look on my Instagram If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should I put up a story and said tag me in pictures of your cars And I'll review them in my next video and that's exactly what we're doing But I do want to say a quick disclaimer This is just my opinion on what I think looks cool in a car You build your car to how you love it. You want to be unique you want to stand out, you want to put your personality on the car. I can't speak right now, but you know what I'm trying to say. Everyone, build your car how you build it. Don't build it, like, don't stop building it because I don't like it. You know what I mean? All right, cool. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump into it and have a look. Now, I must say, you guys did go a little bit crazy. I have a lot of pictures I'm tagged in. I now have a lot of comments that I'm tagged in and a lot of stories that I'm tagged in. And I have no idea how I'm going to sort through all of this. I'm just going to wing it. So the first person we're going to take a look at is uh, Nadort. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it looks like he um, he drifts a Holden Commodore Ute. Um, I'm going to assume that there's an LS in this because I don't see the Ecotec V6 uh, producing that much smoke. Although I'm sure some burnout guys in Australia will argue with that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I mean, you can't get much more Australia than this, right? Um, although personally, I've never really been a Commodore fan when it comes to um, anything motorsport wise I can't imagine the car handling that well just because every Commodore I've ever driven on the street Just feels so bad and the steering super stiff and nothing like a small agile Nissan to me But um, I would love to also experience driving someone who's got a really well set up car um, That's a Commodore in Australia for motorsport and things like that but otherwise, the car looks really good. I mean, it looks pretty stocky. It looks like he's got a nice seat and stuff like that in there. Um, maybe if he's watching this video, you can drop some info down in the comment section about your car. I'm trying to scroll through here on your Instagram. Yo, you met Adam. Cool dude, hey. Um, trying to see if there's any more information in here. That looks like the interior there. Got a couple bride low maxes. Sweet, sweet. Got a hydro there by the looks of it. Yep. Nice, man. It's pretty good for a Commodore Ute. Good stuff. All right, man. Well, yeah. Let's check out some more. So the next person we're going to check out is Andrew Garrett. Looks like he's a bit of a Miata fan. And, uh, oh wow, look at that. This is like one of the first guys I've, I've known who's kept the Miata engine in there. Where's he from? In Australia? I'm assuming he's in Australia. A lot of people know he's definitely not from Australia. Um, I'm going to stop assuming and try to research a little bit more on their Instagram profiles. Yo, S15, that's cool. Can we talk about the S15 for five minutes instead of the Miata? <laughs> This literally feels like I'm stalking people. Wait, did something blow up? No, that's just rust and bog. He's got a Honda Civic with underglow. No, that's not a Honda Civic. That's like a Ford thing. Okay, but still it has underglow, so it has my seal of approval. You know what? I don't even know what I'm looking at right now because I'm so confused. I'm seeing Honda Civic engines with turbos. I'm, I'm confused. Anyways, um, there's some cool cars here. I don't really see... The Miata's really clean. I'll give him that. Um, I don't really know if it's turboed or anything. Hang on, here's a dyno. I can't hear anything. It must be coming out of the, uh, the screen recorder. That kind of sucks. Can I turn it up? Nope. Can't hear anything. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's making 122 horsepower, so I'm just going to assume that it's non-turbo. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. Let's have a look at these quick pictures. He changed the clutch out. Got a diff sorted out. Oh, it looks like he broke the casing on his old diff. Rip. That's a very common thing with Miatas, actually. Well, there you go. Thanks for that, Andrew. So we're going to take a look now at Ikida ER34. Looks like he's got a 98 R34 GTT, which is the same as what my white car was. So a little bit feelsy here. I'm a really big fan of that hood. I always wanted that hood on my cars. I actually um, am trying to look for a nice uh, carbon one for my 33.4 right now uh, because I would love that on there. It'd keep my uh, help keep my IATs down, but also if it rained, it would just pour heaps of water in. Okay, cool. So he's putting over fenders on. That's sick, man. Looks like you got a really nice build going on there. Is it the turbo version? It looks like maybe it's the non-turbo. I'm going to assume. Hang on, let's see. There's a cleaner picture here. No, it looks like it's a GTT. It's got the gauge clusters there, so I'll assume that it is that. It looks good, Ben. I'm going to assume as well that you're uh, in the States. Wait, no, you can't be. you got to be in Japan. you got Japanese plates, right? Yeah, and it was at Enios. Enios exists in the States, right? I think it does. Cool. All right, looking good, man. Gonna be uh, pretty cool to see how that build goes. Let's check out another. Yo, this looks like my kind of car. So this guy's called Lewis, uh, the Mint Green 14 on Instagram. Yo, mm -hmm. this is this is cool. He's got some big wheel Johnnies there. Causeway panel beaters. Okay, cool. I'm loving the Atasha style wrap and the mint color. It's very cool. 
The interior is even really good. How are those um those end style seats treating you? Is that what those seats are? That the cushions don't look like they're holding up too well. But otherwise it looks really good. That's cool. Arizona. Man, that's so cool. Matches like the car and everything. Oh man. I'm loving all the pink stuff. I'm a big fan of like I, don't, I think it's just because I've hanged out with Okachan and stuff, but Japanese culture like about standing out from the rest and making your own team colors and stuff like that. It just sort of grew on me a lot. Damn, that was cool. Where does this guy live? He must live in the States or something, right? Yeah, it, it doesn't. I don't know. I didn't even notice what side of the car the... Yeah, it must be the States. It's 350Z drifting, right? It's pretty cool, though. All right, awesome. Oh, right in the feels. RB tie. You got a nice white, uh, white 34 there. I miss mine. Oh, you guys are going to make me cry. It looks good. Nice. Forward facing plenum. Got a nice gritty radiator. Looks like a factory turbo still. Could be high flow though. I've ne I don't see many people putting the catch can in that corner. Normally um, they delete ABS and put it in this corner. So that's kind of interesting. Cool though. All right. Nice clean white 34. Good times. All right, let's check out some more. Yo, this thing looks cool. It looks like uh, somewhere in the UK, I'm going to assume. Um, looks really nice. Oh no, it's Germany. There you go. You're somewhere in Europe. That's clean. It looks like it's a GTR judging by the body. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got the multifunction dash. Damn, that looks so clean inside too, interior-wise. Is there any more pictures of this thing? I want to see the engine bay. Damn it. Why are you not have no engine bay pictures? Come on, guys. Oh, man. But still, this looks super clean. I'm loving that matte orange color. I think that really looks nice on it. It makes it pop. But anyways, really cool car. Yo, my people. Check this out. R33 with underglow, yo. RB25 underscore Gaza. Dude, that's clean. He's painted all the interior. That looks really nice. What uh, What's he got going on there? 1552 wheels. Yeah, I've never been a fan of the 52 wheels. I think that's because Orion ruined them for me. Um, <laughs> throwing some shade. Um, but... Damn, he's got some other cool pictures in here. That's a cool Civic. Cool there, chassis too. One VR. Very, very cool. But he's got a really nice 33. I'll give him that. It looks really clean. Cool, man. So, Aaron JDMJZ, or Z, sorry. I'm Australian. Get used to it. Um, looks like he's got a really nice JZ880 Supra. Damn, that actually looks really clean. I'm jealous. I wish these things were still, like, fairly priced. Well, I mean, they are technically still fairly priced, but... Just a, worth a lot more than what they used to be. Yeah, so he's from Australia. <coughs> in uh, in Victoria and New South Wales, you can get these JDM style number plates now. They kind of look like that with a bit of Japanese on them. It's cool. Um, it sucks though because you can't get them in Brisbane yet. Damn, that's a nice car. Is it turbo though? I want to see... Uh, I want to see if it's turbo. Has he got an engine base shot here somewhere? He's got a Bride Japan, so like a Zeta. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Looks like it's a genuine one too. Which, let's be honest, Australians don't really have a great reputation of having genuine brides or brid seats. Burrito. That's how he's meant to pronounce it. Um, yeah, no engine bay pictures. I'm going to assume it's non-turbo. Because if it's non-turbo, that would probably be the only reason why there's no engine bay pictures. But still, man... See, if Toyota if Toyota kept the new Supra to have these kind of similar body lines, I'd be way more of a fan. Okay, so I'm going to take a look now at some of the things that people have been tagging me in, in comments and stuff. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Yo, 32 GTR, clay BNR32, let's check him out. Nice, man, that looks clean. Obviously GTR, so nice 26 in there. Looks like he's got some aftermarket stuff there with the intake. I think that's a Pexi, although I can't remember. 
Looks good though. Nice clean 32s. It's hard to find clean 32 GTRs now. They've all pretty much shipped out of Japan. Or at least the very nice ones are still locked up in people's garages going nowhere. This looks great though. Nice man. You must be really happy to have this thing in the States. Is that a titanium exhaust? Hell yeah. Looking good dude. <laughs> man that was a while ago when that was going around like crazy. Hey. That kind of meme. Alright let's check out some more. Okay, so we're checking out this one here, Steel Roller. So it looks like it's a Toyota Corolla. Um, I don't know anything about these new ones, although I think they have... Wait, what? Is that meant to be in there? Um, I need more information. It's a ZZE110 with a 2ZZGE. What? That's insane. That's super cool. Looks like it's got a massive charger sitting on it. I need more information. Come on, give me some more information, Instagram. I want to know. Yo, so check this out. This is, this is, I found the information I was after. So this is when he first got it, I assume. So version one, then this was version two, running what looks like a Greddy supercharger kit. That's really cool. And then here's version three. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same supercharger or not. Uh, I don't think so. It looks pretty different, uh, but damn, that looks cool. Dude, give me some power figures. Like, is there a video in here of you running on the donut? Yes, yes, yes. I wish I could hear it right now, but we will on the video later. Yeah, okay, that looks so cool. Very excited. What does it sound like in this one? So who would have thought new Corollas can still be cool? Alright, alright. I see you. Let's see what else we can find, hey? So we're going to check out Smokin's 13. Uh, Ron Ellers, I think his name is. Seems like a cool guy. Looks like he's got a 180SX. I'm going to assume by... Hmm, maybe he's got something... Is it SR still? No? That's a KA, right? Hell yeah. It's... It, it always, like, I love seeing people still running, like, the original motors and S chassis, whether it's KA, SR, or CA. It's so good for me to see people still running them, because they are good motors. Looks like he's got a son, he's helping him work on the car. That's good. I'm really looking forward to father-son time like that when I have kids. Well, if it's a son or a daughter, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, but otherwise... Nice, dude. Like I said, I really do like seeing people still using KAs and CAs and SRs still in their chassis. I never used to, but uh, Okachan changed me. Changed me for the better, I think. Alright, awesome. So that's pretty cool. I'll check out one more car. Yo, this thing's cool. Wu-Tang Celsior. Oh, there you go, ladies. He's single. <laughs> Looks like he's got a really nice Celsior. Uh, I'm trying to find a really nice picture of it. Here we go. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to rate this 8 out of 10 for Celsius. Because even his wheel game's good. He's got the concave game going. A little bit of poke. Loving the little purple LEDs in the back. I'm a fan. I love this. This is, this is great. Good job, man. Alright. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely... Follow me on Instagram. Um, just search for Samet01. I'll put it on the screen as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's definitely not the normal thing that I would do, but I wanted to try something different to interact with you guys a little bit more. So tell me in the comment section what you guys thought. And obviously, I am sorry that I didn't get through to everyone. If I uh, checked out everyone's car that people tagged me in, um, we'd probably be here for the next six hours. So anyways, thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. Share some videos with them. Let's get this family growing. 100k this year. I know we can do it. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Jamatane.